guys, my name is Tamala, and you're watching Hope on Design from Louisville, Texas. Well, on today's webisode, I'm going to show you how to make a springtime floral ball. Now, I've already shared with you the materials you're going to need, so if you already have all your materials ready, let's get ready to make this springtime floral ball. Okay, guys, let's get started on, on me showing you how to make this springtime ball. Well, of course, you want to get a whiffer ball, and for time's sake, I've already started some of it. Uh, um, it's very self-explanatory. It's really not that hard, but I just want to show you the gist of how to make this ball. You want to... Um, cut you some ribbon and you want to add the ribbon into the top part of the ball you can basically choose what top you know you want to call the top area and insert your ribbon and then um, like I said I've already started cutting some of the petals off the stems using my floor cutter you just simply take your glue gun and if you don't like using glue guns you can always use fabric glue or whatever type of glue that works best for you and you just simply saturate the bottom part of the petal with the hot glue, so messy using hot glue. And then you just insert it into one of the holes. You wanna press it down, make sure it's in there pretty good. And then you just keep going around the ball until you have completely covered the ball with the florals. And um, I just wanna show you where you should cut the stem. You don't wanna cut it too short, but you don't wanna cut it too long. So you just want to cut it probably right to here. These are easy to use. Okay. And then your stem will probably be about this long. And then again, you'll take the glue gun and you saturate the bottom of it. And then like I said, you just fill in where you see an empty hole and you just smash it in. Thank <laughs> you. 